Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel and today is our lecture number 100 and I am very thankful to all of my viewers, all of my subscribers who have given their lot of support and helped in achieving this milestone. Hopefully with this support and with this enthusiasm, I will be providing the quality lectures in the future and I will request once again to all of my viewers who have not subscribed yet please to subscribe the channel click the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel so in our today's video we will be discussing the topic of retrograde behavior and we will be solving this using aspen Hises. before going to this tutorial i would also request to subscribe to my second channel which is the chemical engineering channel which will be currently showing to you on your screen and I will give its link in the description as well. So what is a retrograde behavior? Usually with the increase in pressure at a constant temperature for mixtures, the amount of liquid which is the liquid fraction increases. And we know that with the increase in the liquid fraction, the vapor fraction will automatically decrease. However, the retrograde behavior which exists near the critical region, there is an interesting behavior that is the vapor fraction increases with the increase in pressure near the critical region at constant temperature. So many mixtures observe the retrograde behavior near the critical region. So we will be using Aspen Hises to determine the retrograde behavior or to observe the retrograde behavior for a given system. And the given system is that we have components of ethane and pentane, the property package which needs to be selected as Peng Robinson. The mass flow rate is 100 kg per hour. The mass composition is 0.5 for ethane and 0.54 pentane. So let's quickly go to Aspen Hises and solve it. So first we will add the components ethane then pentane and the property package the fluid package which we need to select is Peng Robinson. After doing this going to the simulation environment and selecting a stream for this. Click on the stream pasting it and going to the stream analysis and developing the envelope for it. First we need to develop the PT envelope and we have already discussed this PT envelope in our previous video as well. So click on this OK and then this envelope will generate. Obviously, we have to go to the stream analysis, this envelope and unable to generate any data with current property package and conditions because we have not specified any conditions yet. So simply going to the envelope will not give the solution. First, we need to do is to specify the mass flow rate, which is 100 kg per hour. Double click it 0.5 mass fraction for ethane and 0.54 pentane and click on ok and then once you go to this envelope now and it is now ok two phase critical temperature is 113.4 two phase critical pressure is 6710 kilopascal or 67.1 bar the crick condom is 123 and crick condom bar is 6716 67.16 bar or 6716 kpa in performance the bubble point according to each pressure then the dew point can be seen according to each pressure and in the plots and if I take it out from the system and expanding it, you can see this is the PT envelope generated for this system where pentane and ethane both are having mass fraction of 0.5 and this point, this is the highlighted as yellow, this point is the critical region if I have expanded it now. Now this one, this region denotes the region near the critical temperature and we have to observe the trend here. So you can see this temperature is nearly 114, 115 something, which is the closest one. So we will take 115 as the point and we will see how the vapor fraction increases with the increase in the pressure at constant temperature. So what we need to do, we need to cancel it. Then again, going to the stream analysis and going to this property table selecting stream number one okay property table and instead of giving temperature as incremental we will give state because we have to give only one value that is 115 degree centigrade for pressure if i take you back to that envelope again what type of pressure we need to select or what will be the conditions for it then if i zoom in here you can see that it is above 6600 and it is in the range of 6600 to 6800 but we want to see the overall trend. So what we need to do, we need to click on this property table one. In pressure, it is 60 bar, which is 6000 kPa and 6900 kPa. And we can increase number of increments to 20, 30, 40, like we take number of increments as 20. Then going to this dependent property, click on add and we want to see the vapor fraction trend and 
this one here at number four is web perfection so click on ok and then calculate and on the calculation going to this performance and the plots and clicking on this view plot and you can see clearly that with the increase in pressure the wave perfection is decreasing as this is the normal trend however once it has crossed this line and crossed this region and has entered near the critical region there is an abrupt increase in the wave perfection with the increase in pressure while the temperature is kept constant at 115 degree centigrade this shows the retrograde behavior that for example with the increase in pressure up to like 6549 or 65 bar above 65 bar you can see that the vapor fraction suddenly increases and it shows an increase or the interesting behavior which we have studied theoretically so this is how the retrograde behavior is drawn for a system in Aspen Heises. let's do another calculation that we go back and here we change the mass composition like for ethane it is 0.4 for pentane it is 0.6 clicking on ok again going to this envelope and now the envelope values will definitely change it cannot remain the same and now near the critical region if we take this one like this then this point is something about 131 and pressure region again the same so what we need to do going to this property table in design in connections instead of 115 which will specify it as 131 and then again calculating it and going to this performance in view plot because you can see the property is vapor fraction first independent variable is temperature and second one is pressure so now you can see with constant temperature again the same trend you can see that before the critical region the vapor fraction was decreasing with the increase in pressure as could be seen but once it is approaching the critical region you can see the retrograde behavior that the vapor fraction starts increasing with the increase in pressure while the temperature is kept constant so that's how the retrograde behavior is studied in Aspen Heises and you can study it for various mass fractions or for various systems which exhibit the retrograde behavior. So that's it from this lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. I am once again thankful to all of my viewers, all of my subscribers who have helped in reaching this milestone and definitely it's not my success. It's all your success and you are also appreciated for this success as well because by your support this achievement have been unlocked but obviously with your support we will be unlocking more achievements in the future as well so please stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel till then it's goodbye stay tuned